Good Hi, afternoon. Everyone. Today we're trying Carl's Jr. for the first time ever. Yes, mm. if you haven't tried it either, put your hands up. <laughs> Let's go eat. Welcome to Carl's Jr. There are only a handful of these fast food chains in Melbourne, less than 10, and this is our first time visiting. I can't wait to try the food, it smells really good, and all I know about Carl's Jr. is that it started off as a hot dog stand, so... Ooh, do they thank have you, hot Google. dogs? Do they have hot dogs? Well, there's only one way to find out. Carl's Jr. Let's, Let's go. try it. Our first time in Australia in Carl's Jr. Ooh, this nice. Really, really nice. A lot of space to eat as well. No giant iPad to order from. So we're gonna have to go to the front of the counter to order. So before we order here, we will check out the menu on this massive food brochure. Whoa. Look at the amount of burgers you can yeah. choose from. Very impressive. And a big selection of burgers. I love it. <gasps> and they've got cookies here. Oh, what? <gasps> And chili cheese fries. Oh, oh my yeah. god, look at all the sides you can get. You can get, oh yeah, the waffle fries look really good. Onion rings are good too. Chili sa salad, what the? Oh and, my god, uh, <laughs> what are you doing? And also desserts like an ice cream sandwich and shakes. I definitely want a shake. But, oh, he did start as a hot dog stand. Oh uh, yeah, see? A man, a hot dog, and a dream. The Angus burger looks so good, but this one really caught my eye. The Portobello Mushroom Angus Burger. I love mushrooms and burgers, so I'm going for that. And there's a guacamole, jalapeno Angus, Hawaiian Angus. Wow, damn McDonald's, you need to step up your Angus game because Carl's Jr. have a huge selection. Oh no. Low carb Angus burger. How do we fold that? Out of here. <laughs> Look at this breakfast menu, guys. Potato bites, breakfast burgers, whole bunch of eggs in sexy oily buns. Wow. Ooh, that looks real American. We also need to get their signature burger, and I believe it's the Carl Burger, which is a char grilled beef patty, American cheese, lettuce, and their classic sauce on a seeded bun. That looks good, but this one looked better. It's twice the patty, so I'll, I think I'll get the big Carl Burger because I'm a big Chan Burger as well. Western Burger, double your snacks. Oh, wow. Oh, chicken star nuggets. And here they have a tiny chicken menu. You've got the hand breaded chicken fillet sandwich and then under it, yep, and then that, and that's it. Babe, what are you getting? So, I'm definitely going to try the Hawaiian Angus Burger Ooh. because you guys know I love pineapple. Pineapple burger, and yay. And of course, the chicken. <laughs> yep, gotta get that chicken. Looks yes. really good as well. And I have to try out the nuggets. The chicken star nuggets. And it's star nuggets. Yeah, because you're a star yes. girl. Thank you. <laughs> and yes. also, all the sides. The sides, we'll try the natural cut fries, the waffle fries, and the onion rings. Yes. And the chili fries. Yes. And dessert later. Yes. Yeah, and some shakes. Let's go. All right, let's order, and we'll be back with all the food here. Ooh, this is already a big plus. Free refills, I love that. Watch out for the Chinese lady. She might bring a plastic bag, take all the ice, guys. <laughs> so you got the classic Coke. Raspberry Fanta, yum, yum, yum. What is this? Grower's Choice? A ginger beer and also a spirit tea. Hell yeah. Push. Woo. Diet Coke, because we're watching the weight, but not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> Isn't she wonderful? And of course my girl. Yes, so our food is here. Look at it, two trays of beauty. Carl's Jr., please, please be good. And all of that cost about $80, yeah? Just like McDonald's, pretty much. We've got a Diet Coke, a Raspberry Fanta, two shakes, very delicious. Yep, chocolate and strawberry. Yep, our fries, mm -hmm. the waffle fries. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
That's so good. That seasoning with some sort of red spiciness. Let me have a bite too. Mm. Oh yeah. Yum. Yum, yum, oh yum. yeah. Give it that. That's it. Mmm. I love mm. waffle fries. They That's look so good. good. They taste good. And something about biting into mm. a potato slice that have holes in it, very satisfying. Crunchy, delicious. That's for sure. How about we try the shakes? Uh-huh. Cheers. I'll try my strawberry, you try the chocolate, Cheers. and we'll give a little review. Oh damn, that's pretty damn good. Mine's good. Yeah. It's not that fruity strawberry. It's more of a milk Whoa, strawberry yeah. ice cream. And you can, can also get cream on top of it as well. Mm. But we, we're we watching our weight. We didn't want that. Oh, quite <laughs> thick. Mine's and you sweet. can taste like the vanilla ice cream. Yeah, in yeah. In the shake. The shakes, very impressed. Because one thing I love having with greasy, meaty burgers is a really nice thick shake. And that did it. That did it for me. Yay. But now, let's go through all the burgers we've ordered. This okay. one is the portobello mushroom. Oh my god, look! They're yes. Like, they punch it. They poke a hole through so you know which burger. This one's a Hawaiian burger because it's a little Hawaiian. That is freaking amazing. That's smart. I like that. That is, that is very amazing. smart. Oh, damn beautiful. Holy moly. Onion. That Angus patty, so fatty and greasy with a layer of mushrooms on top and that Toasted oily bun. Oh it's wow. That's like the prettiest burger I've seen. That is seen. dang good. That is good. I'm ready to eat that. I'm salivating now. The Hawaiian Angus burger with pineapple, cheese. I love that American cheese. This is what I love about this Carl's Jr. Wow. Is the cheese is completely different to it's all the so other fast food chains. Nice. I love it. Look at that. The harmony, the balance of the vegetables and the meat. It looks like it's gonna be really good. Oh my god. Damn. Okay, compared oh. to McDonald's, the loaded the gravy thing. fries, this is next level. So if you got melted cheese, that's a lot of cheese. Wow. It smells like bolognese. While it's fresh, eat it. It's like a what, a minced beef? The sauce is good, but the chips are okay. Okay, so these are your Carl's Jr. fries, right? Look uh, medium sized. With potato. Oh yeah, not bad. So do you think it tastes like the palm burger we had at McDonald's? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's like that bolognese sauce with cheese. It's not bad. I'm happy with it. Yeah. I would prefer if the chips were a little bit more crispy. Yes, I yeah. think the chips are a little bit undercooked. Here are these star. <laughs> She's a star. You're Whee! a star. Shooting star. You guys are a star. I'll try it as it is first. Ranch is saved. Good? Oh, wow. How's that? It's kind of like a breadcrumb chicken nugget. Oh. Yeah. A breaded nugget yeah. in the shape of a star. All right, guys, have a bite. Ready? Three, two, one. I like it. I like it. Yeah. It's like. The chicken nuggets you get at primary school. The big Carl for a big chon, all right? And this burger is quite heavy. Look at that, that's a dumbbell. Woo! Oh, you know what? I really like the packaging at Carl's Jr. They do double paper. Look at that. It reminds me of Mum's Touch a little bit. Uh, here is the burger. There you can see. It is two patties of beef, lettuce, their signature sauce, and American cheese. Another thing I remember about Carl's Jr. are their very, very, very sexy ads. They used to always have bikini girls holding burgers and like eating it very seductively like... Oh, wow! And I used to watch those videos all the time, yeah? Of course you For the, uh, the burgers. This is my first time trying a big Carl burger. Let's go. Carl's Jr. Is it any good? Let's find out. It resembles a Whopper, to be honest. I think it's that char-grilled beef patty, but I like the sauce a little bit more. How's the patty? It looks oh. a bit dry. It does look dry, but it's still quite juicy. Pretty much a Whopper burger without the tomato. Not bad. I like the lettuce, really nice uh, fresh cut. 
of veggies, but this burger is just all right for me. We are located 35 to 40 minutes away from our home. It is quite a trek to get here. We're, in, we're currently in Cranbourne, which is the edge of a train station map. So we have the farm baby, but it's worth it. Carl's Jr., the portobello mushroom. Angus burger. Look at this. This is a work of art. Come on, guys. Mushrooms, burger patty, onion, tomato, lettuce. Let's go. Uh, the ingredients really good. I love the ratio of meat to vegetables. All those vegetables are so fresh. The only thing lacking for me a little bit is that beef patty. It's juicy, but it's not oozing with oil, which is what I want from an Angus patty. Not overly salted as well, not super flavorful. I was expecting very greasy, buttery burger, super oily, so I can down it with this delicious strawberry shake, but I don't even need it because it is quite clean. The Hawaiian burger. Pineapple, beef patty, melted cheese, aloha. Oh, wow. You don't like onion? I don't like those onions. This is my favorite. Since that's a really fat, juicy burger, let's do a Carl's Jr. ad. Ready? Oh, We're gonna cue okay. in the sexy music. Unfortunately, Delaney's not wearing anything too boobalicious. It's like a Zane Su shirt, Demon Slayer, so it's still pretty sexy. Okay. Carl's Jr., this is our ad for you. Sexy time, play the sexy music. I got a fever and inflammation that what I got. <laughs> Wait, this is a family Dude, friendly show. Dude, that was show. a sexy lick, girl. This is a family friendly it's show. Hard. I will try this now. All right, the Hawaiian burger. Mmm. It's mm. pretty good. Let me check out that sexy Hawaiian girl. I oh, always try to take yeah. a really big bite, but I just can't. That's a pretty big bite though. Is it? Yeah, I'm impressed by that bite. Oh. I always take two bites. That's my go-to. I don't think we have a lot of pineapple burgers no. in Melbourne. I'm actually quite surprised. Because mm. when I looked at the patty, I was like, oh, it kind of looks a bit sad, looks a bit dry. Yeah, it does look dry, right? It doesn't look as juicy. Yeah. It looks quite plain. But, but all I the think... flavors are there and like the sauce helps as well. The bun is really soft. Mm. Oh, the pineapple is so juicy. <laughs> I think you just like anything with pineapple in it. But how is the beef patty though? It's not as succulent or oily or juicy, right? When you push yeah, into it's that, like... it's quite dry. It's like you're eating like a kebab stick. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Like, I get it. Like, we... If this was a quarter pounder patty, it would, once I squish it, it would ooze oil. But this one is quite healthy. It's like delicious though. The flavors are really good. They're like marinated in something. I would come back to eat this. Oh yeah. I'm coming back for the shake. All right. This is our last burger. But this is their chicken Ooh. fillet sandwich. So the chicken looks pretty thick. It's literally like a like chicken, I really? would say, yeah. Thick it's boy? just like Not lettuce. Really? That's a really oily patty. That's true. That looks more like a McSpicy patty. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a McChicken patty. Sesame seed bun, lettuce. Mm. Look at that steam come out of that burger. How is it? Patty is so juicy. Squish that patty. I can see the oil and the steam coming out. <laughs> is that too much? <laughs> it's always exciting to try a new chicken burger at a fast food chain because we we only have McDonald's and KFC really, and I've eaten those things 10, 20,000 times. So this is going to be a completely new experience for me, and I'm excited. Mm. I like the saltiness and the flavor in that chicken patty. And it's quite different. It's like a chicken patty that shreds apart. It's not like processed and mashed down and turned into a patty. It's more like a piece of chicken. Pretty damn good. Not too bad. I want to try this Hawaiian burger because you were like, Loving it, so. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Let me cook it. Well, you're not a pineapple lover, so let's see your take on it. I like pineapple juice. 
because I know the benefits. Only a pizza I can bear it. I, I can handle that because you order it so much. I've gotten used to it. I really like it now. <laughs> then in a burger, let's find out. Yeah, pretty damn good. Adds a little sweetness to that burger as well. Makes it a little interesting compared to just the Carl's one, when you, which is just two burger patties and uh, meat. That's pretty damn good. I like that. The other burgers, I'm still not super happy about the beef patty because all the beef patties kind of taste similar, a little dry, a little flavorless for me, and not oily enough. This is really oily though. So let's try this with a little bit of ranch sauce. The onion ring. The only ring I will ever give Delano. <laughs> the only kind of ring I need. Yeah, yeah, this is good. That's a ranch sauce I've never had before. A whole bunch of different flavors in that. Interesting. I still prefer this a lot more. So Carl's Jr., what do you think, babe? First impressions. I think it's pretty good. And mm. I'll come back. I think it's decent. Very interesting trying new things, but um, I was a little dissatisfied with the burgers. I was expecting a little bit more, more greasiness. Mm. But there's nothing wrong with uh, that because a healthy burger is also good. I feel like if you've never tried it before, try it once. The appeal for me is that it's new. Mm. It's an American fast food chain that we don't have here. And I wanted to test them. So what do you reckon, babe? This chicken burger right here or the McSpicy? Oh, the McSpicy is definitely better than yeah, this. Yeah, this bun itself is not that pleasant. The chicken is good, but there's no spiciness to it, mm. which the McSpicy is all about. Give you that little hit. These fries are probably my favorite of all time. One of my favorite fries. Mm. Crinkle cut all the way. The shakes, I'm very impressed by the shakes. So guys, overall, I'm going to have to give Carl's Jr. three and a half stars. <laughs> and uh, at the... Out of what? Out of five? I, well, that, this is, this is uh, all that was left. There was only three and a half uh, of these stars left. But that is actually my score too. Three and a half stars out of five. That's what I'm telling Everything's you. like delicious. Everything's good. Yeah. But it's not like, oh my God, it blew my mind. It is the best thing I've ever tasted. There's a yeah. party going on in my mouth. You know, it wasn't like that. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, it's delicious, yeah. cool. I'm satisfied. I think the only places that makes me feel that way was Jollibee the first time. Mum's Touch did that a little bit too. Definitely touched and me in ways that I've never been touched before. the pineapple before. burger in Singapore from McDonald's. Oh, yes. My all-time number one. Most McDonald's and KFC places in Asia also gave us that yum time story feeling. Yum, yum, yum. It was good. Loved it. And here is our dessert. We got an Oreo sundae and also an ice cream sandwich, which is their Carl's Jr. cookies with a scoop of ice cream in between. And they even also package it in plastic so you can take it home. There you go. Look at that. That's thick. A choc chip cookie, Delana's favorite. Yes. Looks yummy. I'm not gonna bite into this. It's too cold. You got this, girl. You got this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Should I do it? The cookie is so hot. Is it? <laughs> I told you it was really hard. Oh, the ice cream is just overflowing, kind of like my fat rolls that come out of my, <laughs> this is my pants here and then my fat comes out. Wow. <laughs> After eating at Carl's Jr. Not bad. Oh, ice cream is so cold. And the cookie is really cold too. <laughs> Not too bad, it's quite tasty though. Nice ice cream. Yeah. The cookie is good too. But if it was like a Subway soft cookie, like oh, gooey. Oh, so hard. Yeah. Oh. I think it's, I think it's hard because once you put ice cream on any anything, especially a cookie, it's gonna solidify, it's gonna get cold. Unless you have the really soft cookies, but yeah. these cookies are really hard. Well, that's what I mean. You need that gooey yeah. Subway choc chip cookie or even like a white chocolate raspberry. Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna do that when I go home. Yes, the sundae looks really good. Chocolate 
sauce. You got Oreos on top, Oreo cookies, ice cream, cream, whipped cream on top of that too, and that chocolate sauce. This looks very sweet. Cheers. Cheers. Give some to the fans, all right? You guys gain the weight, okay? I eat it, but you guys gain the weight, please. Hop. The Sunday from McDonald's is a lot nicer, that chocolate. This one's got that weird aftertaste. Tastes like a black and gold. Anyway, that was desserts at Carl's Jr. We're gonna go outside and food coma in the car. We'll see you soon. And that was Carl's Jr. in Australia, our first time here, and I was very satisfied. Yeah. Burgers were good, mm -hmm. the shakes were even better, and I really love those fries. Oh my god. And the star chicken nuggets. Yeah, star chicken nuggets are so good. Yeah. It suits you too, babe, because you. you're my star. <laughs> you're my star. Carl's too. Jr. bringing people together. You and are also, our star. Yeah, yeah, and there was some definitely some magic in there too, babe, because when I walked out of Carl's Jr., I felt different. My shirt got tighter, especially the stomach area. So you know it's good. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye. Oh yeah, mate, welcome to Cranbourne. All right. Carl's Jr. is just right there. And that's a cow. And those are cows, Cranbourne. What a bloody area. Meh. This video was brought to you by Razer. We are unboxing the Razer Blade 15 Advanced Edition laptop. Razer were kind enough to send me my very own and first Razer laptop. And I'm very excited because look at this thing. It is small, compact, lightweight, and I've heard the specs for this laptop are incredible. The weight, very good. Very important um, about the weight and size because I've always needed a laptop to take overseas to different cities when I need to edit, I need to catch up on work while we're filming in different countries and this is the perfect size. The other laptops I've had were too heavy, too smelly, too stinky, didn't look good, too heavy. Did I say that? So I'm very excited for the Razer Blade 15. Let's open it up. Look at that. I absolutely love. Ooh. I've always known Razer to be great for gaming. I've got a lot of gaming equipment like headset, mouse, etc., keyboard. I love the lights, the design, the aesthetics. Look at that. There's the laptop. I love the feel. It's nice and cool. Oh, it feels so good in my skin. And the specs, yes. It is a 10th gen Intel Core. And you, you gotta know, you gotta have a strong core, especially when you're working out. Cores are very important, okay? <laughs> yeah, Windows 10 Home, and it's a 15.6 inch full HD screen. Absolutely love it. One terabyte SSD and 16 gigabyte dual channel. Let's turn this on now, actually. Um, how do you turn this thing on? <laughs> turn on for me, please. Can you guys see how thin that is? Look at that. Like a slice of cheese. And I'll just like slip that into my backpack while I'm traveling. I could take it out on the trains of Japan. Very excited to use this. I mean, it's very aesthetically pleasing. It looks awesome. Thank you so much, Razer. I've only heard great things about the Blade 15. I'm even gonna edit on this thing. But first, I need to. I need to learn how to turn on, how to turn this on. Sorry, I'm an old man now, and the technology is very confusing to me. So um, I'm gonna call my future son to help me out, and they're gonna teach me how to do this. There, there must be an on button somewhere. Thank you so much, Razor, for sending this through. My friends use it, they love it, absolutely love it. I don't know how to use it, because I can't find the on button, but that's okay, because I'll ask Elena, she's good at turning me on. I mean the laptop on. So yeah, it's gonna be great. Okay, thanks for watching guys.